So we're currently at the Whiting Volunteer Fire Department. It also covers not only Whiting, but the town of Sudbury. Um, when towns are small enough and they need to cover more areas and there's not enough members to do separate towns, we get pushed together. <laughs> I've been a firefighter for over eight years, but on the Whiting one specifically for two and a half. I actually joined the cadet program at the New Haven Volunteer Fire Department when I was 15 after waiting for a long time, it seems, at 13. And then at 18, I got voted in as an official firefighter and not just a cadet. Years ago, Bayward Fire Departments like Bristol used to have a waiting list for people to join their fire department. And that is gone now. We often get overlooked because we don't have as many calls as bigger towns, but a house on fire is still a house on fire despite how many times it happens a year. I know that a lot of times when I try to convince someone to join, they say they don't have the time. But also because it's volunteer, if you miss a meeting because you have your kid's birthday party, you know, people can understand that. To get more teenagers involved in the fire department, one of my ideas would be if we somehow could get like gym credit to, you know, join the fire department if you go to enough trainings and enough calls that you wouldn't have to do a gym class. The relationships I've built over the past eight years are the reason I've stayed in. The people that have pushed me to come to the trainings and made me excited to go to the fundraisers even. I remember one time at a parade, we were walking by and this little girl goes, Mom, like, there's a girl firefighter and it felt so nice because I hope that one day she can grow up and maybe when she's 15 she can join her town's fire department and think of me. 